hello again. So I thought we'd, today we'd just quickly run through some of the watercolours that we've got in the shop that are available and see if any of those take your fancy. We'll start with this lovely nice big pair of original watercolours in a lovely white and gilt frame. Very, very pretty. They look to me like they're alpine scenes. Um, they're clearly meant to be a matching pair. The style looks very similar, so they're probably by the same artist, but unfortunately, either they're not signed or the signature is somewhere under the mount and isn't actually visible. But they're absolutely lovely pair of watercolours. Scooting over here, we've got one with a little bit of age to it. Now, this is a monochrome. So, uh, effectively, it's like a black and white watercolour. And this was done by E.J. Nash in March 1837. So, right at the very tail end of William IV's reign, just before Victoria came to the throne a couple of months later. That one's a William IV monochrome watercolour. I love the, uh, the ruins in that, and it's a really gothic feel and gothic effect to that. Very, very nice. Following me round this way... There you go, we're, we're off doing the uh, <coughs> chasing around the room yet again. We've got one up here that's done by uh, H. Stanton. Another original watercolour, lovely gold frame on that one. That one's been reduced to £22, so that's an absolute bargain. £22 for an original watercolour. Absolutely lovely. Here we go with the Annika Rice again. I'm off around the room. With Debbie in chase. And we've got one just down here, this one, lovely square one there. Now, it's got a little bit of a raised pattern to it, but you won't be able to see that on the video. It won't show up, but it is a little bit of texture to it. And this is done by a girl called Christina Hemming in 1980, and it's, uh, it's limited, but it is actually a watercolour, the way that's done. It's really, really pretty, but you need to come in and have a look at that, really, to get the effect of that one. There's a lovely one just here of Donington Mill. Again, this signature is very, very difficult to make out because most of the signature just disappears off under the mount there, unfortunately. So it's very difficult to work out who's done that. But it's a really, really well done painting. Really interesting seeing that of, a, of an old water mill. Absolutely lovely. And there's just one more I can show you. If we just come round this way. And this done by Abraham Holt Jr. Um, that looks to me like it's Ely Cathedral over in uh, towards Cambridge there. Really, really nice. Holt Jr. there, 1851 to 1922. So this is probably going to be around about the turn of the century, that one. We've got that one up for £50. It's a lovely one. You can Google Holt Jr. He's actually quite famous. But there we go. Just a quick scoot round the room of a couple of the watercolours that we've got for sale. And hopefully we can find some new homes. Thank you very much.